Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. So in today's lecture, we are going to write a Jenkins pipeline and using that pipeline, we are going to run our Ansible playbooks. In previous videos, we have seen how to create a freestyle job and how to run our Ansible playbooks. Now let us begin create a pipeline job and perform our Ansible playbook execution. So here we are uh, in our pipeline job. Let us see how, how we'll be creating our pipeline. So we are going to pipeline a script and there we are starting our pipeline. So it's very simple pipeline. Let us understand line by line. So we are starting our pipeline code with pipeline keyword. By default, agent any of the agents. We are telling run it on any of the available agents. And in the options, we are just using Ansible color, NC color, X term. This is for making something colorful on the screen. If you want, you can use it. If you don't want, you can skip it. So let us leave these color options. If you don't want to use, leave the color options as of now. So now after agent any, we are having the stages. And in the stage name, we are giving playbook run. And inside that steps, we are having a cell script. So how to run a cell script? We are having sh command and triple quotes here and closing the triple quotes. And here we have written something for color. So let, uh, remove the color part. So what we are telling, we are telling in the cell command that sudo ansible hyphen playbook, our playbook path with playbook name hyphen i means inventory and machine name we are telling localhost. So what this is going to do, this is directly going to run the playbook install that YML on our localhost system. So let us save this and let us build now. You see 15th uh, build here execution is in progress. Let us go to this build and see what is happening. So here you can see it started by user admin, a start of pipeline and it's progressing further. Let us see what exactly it is going to do for us. Now it's running our playbooks and you can see gather facts is running. Slowly it will go and it will install the docker. If it's not installed, if it's already installed, it will skip it. Here you can see it has finished successfully. Zero changes has been done because docker was already installed under the target system. Now let us do one thing. Let us remove docker again from our system and run our pipeline job again. And let us see what happens this time. So now let us go here again and click on build now button. So next build will start soon. So 16th build has started now. Let us see. So this time it's again running and it's doing the gather facts now again. And after gather facts, it will again install our Docker software, which we want to install via our playbooks. So let us see. So here you can see changed is equal to one and job has completed, pipeline job has completed successfully. So this was the simple way by which you can run any scripts directly on the target system. Here using Jenkins pipeline, we were able to run our Ansible playbooks. In next video, I'll be showing you how to pass the parameters to our pipeline. Like suppose I want to run our playbook on a particular machine. So how to pass the machine name at the runtime? Here machine name is hard coded, but in the next lecture, I am going to show how to pass our machine name at the runtime and then install or do whatever the stuff we want to do using our Ansible playbooks. So thank you so much guys for giving your valuable time.